So are independent assessments dead? Yes. It was the news disability advocates had hoped for. One of the things that people were really, really anxious about was independent assessments and to hear that that model would be dead in the water was something that was very welcomed. Which one's the flower? Flower? Yeah. After almost 12 months of campaigning, Queensland mum Sue Greer is relieved it's over. Her petition against the reforms gathered more than 50,000 signatures. It just shows that with so many people agreeing on not having this introduced, it's amazing what we've managed to achieve. And one of the architects of the scheme agrees. The government certainly made the right decision yesterday to abandon what it has quite cynically called independent assessments and really amounted to robo-planning. A former chairman of the National Disability Insurance Agency, Bruce Bonahady, says the scheme's 430,000 participants need to be consulted more on any changes. So that these uh, new forecasts can be scrutinised and we can make sure that the NDIS is going to be there for future generations. An additional 100,000 people are expected to join the NDIS in the next two years. But the disability community says before any reforms can go ahead, the government must rebuild trust. We've had to survive on you know, very little money and very little resources for a very long time and we know how we can actually make sure that the scheme stays sustainable. So if we work hand in hand with government, I think you know, we do have a way to move forward. Disability Ministers will meet with Linda Reynolds again next month. Naz Campanella, ABC News.